It's your boy, Daily Dose of Lowe's. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, as you guys can see, we are officially stuck. We're on Low Sahara out in Winoka, Oklahoma, and we're actually out here having a blast, but we got ourselves in a situation. So we came up this uh, little hill and managed to get ourselves stuck. But nonetheless, I got something for us, man. We have what is now the Bunker Industry Mini Recovery Tracks that we are going to go ahead and test and try to see if we can get ourselves out of them. So before I go ahead and try to get myself myself unstuck, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a product review, a little bit of, uh, about the product, a little about the recovery tracks, kind of show you guys and uh, see what I think about it, my unbiased opinion, right? So uh, first of all, I wanna say shout out to Bunker Industries for providing these recovery boards. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give them a try and I'll give you guys my unbiased opinion on what I think about them and if it's something that you should or shouldn't purchase and if I'm gonna decide to keep them or not. So. With that being said, let's go ahead and get today's episode started in three, two, one. So, as you guys can see, we got ourselves extremely stuck. Um, but I got the Bunker Industries mini recovery boards. As you guys can see, first thing first, they come in this cool little recovery case bag, which is pretty awesome, right? Kind of allows you to just kind of throw it in the sand, throw it in the trailer, wherever you need it to be, and it's pretty heavy duty. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but let me show you guys these. So it does come with two straps, which I'll kind of show you guys here in a sec. We're actually, yeah, two straps. There's one, two, and they're fairly long, right? Uh, which these you can kind of tie around the recovery uh, board or recovery tracks and allows you to but it is kind of dig them out of the dirt if they get too sunk or in mud, too sunk, right? Second, it does have this cool little what is farm jack stabilizer plate. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about this. This is pretty awesome. So it's set up to accept the farm jack and even what is a air jack here. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? Yeah, looks like a little bag, you know? Pull up to the recovery scene. You know, we're about to get ourselves unstuck. But let me show you guys what we came to show you. Dirt off here, the sand I should say. But 
Boom, so not your average size recovery tracks. These are actually two little mini ones, I, I would call them. And they're red, you know, match the Forerunner, look good. Um, so check them out, man, pretty awesome. Kind of give you guys a little breakdown of them real quick. Let me give you guys a little shot of them and then uh, we'll get to work on them. Boom. So as you guys can see, man, well, well sized low recovery boards. So I like the color very, they seem pretty solid, pretty heavy duty. So definitely do like that. They do have a little bit of flex to them. So we definitely always want that in these type of situations. The last thing is you want no flex and they just break and then just puts you in a worse situation that you're in. Um, I like the teeth. The teeth are seem pretty strong on here. Um, I will say it looks like right here when you pull up to them or where you try to get them stuck or you get yourself unstuck or where the tires would hit the teeth don't protrude out as far as the other ones do so I'm not really sure how I feel about that but we'll see but it is pretty cool so it's got these handles which allows us to kind of dig stuff out and just hold on to them and carry them it's got three handles on this side I believe can be used as a shovel also so it can kind of be used like this no, maybe not let's try the other side there we go so that's pretty awesome as you can see two of them right now say that you do need an extra some extra length right the farm jack stabilizing plate here works actually not in two different manners not only does it work as a stabilizing plate what you can do is you can take this pop it into here so you can get it boom there we go just like that and then pop this one on the other side. Oh, hold on guys, let me try this again. Make sure it lines up. There we go. And boom, there you guys go. As you can see, I'm about six feet tall. And this is uh, five feet right there. Oh, it's uh, about five feet, I'm, I wanna say. Maybe not, head, about a head, head short. Give you guys a little perspective. But I'm gonna go ahead and lay these down next to the forerunner. You guys can kind of see. Still didn't get it put together very well. Let's try this again. I think you gotta hit, make sure it clicks. There we go. Much better. But that kind of gives you guys a brief look at what it looks like when it's um, next to the Forerunner. So, as you guys can see, the Forerunner set up. Um, and just kind of disclaimer, you know, normally in a situation like this, I'd probably be out here. I mean, I've been out here in a four wheel drive, you know, four low, just having fun. But the only way to really show you guys what it would be like to get stuck and put myself in two wheel drive. So to make it fair for the recovery uh, uh, tracks here, we're going to go ahead and try to get ourselves unstuck in two wheel drive. And that's just going to be to, again, give it a, my own unbiased opinion on what I would think or what I do think about them and if I would or wouldn't decide to keep them or if I would or wouldn't recommend them to anybody right so we're gonna go ahead and unhook them from the uh, floor uh, or from the farm jack stabilizing plate and then we're gonna go ahead and try one first and then if it doesn't work we'll try two and uh, let's give it a try so let's go ahead and get to it all right guys so first of all I apologize about the wind noise I've my wireless mic actually ran out of batteries I was, as I was uh, setting up, so kind of sucks, but I got the GoPro set up. We're gonna go ahead and try to get ourselves unstuck now. So on three, two, let's turn the music off real quick. Don't wanna get no copyrights. And uh, got it in two wheel drive. And uh, let's go ahead and try to get ourselves unstuck here. So here we go. working so let's give it another try oh hold on let's see Think we're moving. Oh. there we go well that was easier than expected got ourselves unstuck dude let's go ahead and get these things out of the sand 
Boom, so as you guys can see, we got ourselves unstuck, man. Pretty successful, pretty happy about him. Uh, it only took us like two tries, really, but uh, this is exactly why I should have tied those little ropes to them, because as you guys can see, I now have to dig him out with my hands. Uh, was not really expecting to do that. So if anything, we're gonna go ahead and start to dig and see if we can find them out and uh, see what they look like, see if they got damaged or anything, and kind of test them real quick. Or not test them, but to see what the results look like. shovel I don't know how we got those out so a little winded but uh I will say this that's probably what just one downside to them since they are so small because they are compact but at the same time they dug themselves underneath that sand like if I would have had the regular size my action tracks I don't think it would have been that much of a struggle right now granted I could have left the rope tied to them that could have helped but even then let me catch my breath that was a workout even had, had I had the rope, it had maybe been a little bit easier to find them, but now we got to find the other one. So let's go ahead and uh, search for this treasure on the other side. back home from out being in the sand dunes and trying out the new uh, recovery tracks right um, so kind of give you guys my first overall experience with them um, they're very affordable compared to a lot of the recovery boards out there right uh, for example they're a fraction of the price compared to my action tracks um, what I recommend them I mean they're very entry level so if there's something that you're interested in getting in spaces that a, an issue I mean definitely recommendation for that right i mean they're they're small they pack up very easily um so price wise again they're a fraction of what it is that you get compared to other a fraction of the price of what it is compared to the action tracks but or my action tracks right or even the smitty built uh recovery boards that i have that i used to use before um or even any other brand i think so they're small um they seem to held up pretty well um i mean you get a little carrying bag the little straps for them and you get the uh, farm jack uh, stabilizing stabilizing plate so very well very good amount of stuff for the price um, like I said um, I haven't really got a chance to put them through any other thing besides sand but uh, I mean I'll definitely continue to use them I'm probably gonna throw them in the trailer so they'll be my recovery boards for the trailer leave the action tracks in the forerunner 
Um, so overall, I mean, it's very entry level. If I had, if um, money was uh, an issue, I would definitely would go with those. If money is not an issue, I definitely would recommend my action tracks that I do have. Um, overall, I mean, it's a pretty good product. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna test them. Um, I'm gonna be running to the Ozarks here soon. Um, so I'm definitely gonna take those um, and maybe use them with the trailer um, as a recovery gear. Um, so overall, what I recommend, yes, entry level and for the amount, yes, absolutely. Um, we'll see, uh, maybe in six months from now, we'll uh, go back and review and see if they're definitely worth uh, holding on to or keeping, right? Um, but with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the little uh, test and review of these action, tra or action tracks of these recovery uh, boards um, from Bunker Industries. Um, looking forward to continue to use them. I'll put a link in the description to where to buy them if you are interested in buying them um, and check out their other stuff too. Um, but with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. Hit that share if you know that someone that is isn't interested in them or someone that's may maybe talked about getting these uh, recovery boards from or these recovery tracks from bunker industries um if you did you know what to do man i hit the link go check them out um it's not affiliated link or nothing like that so i won't get nothing from it but it is a link for anyone that is interested in purchasing them uh for themselves um but again i appreciate bunker industries for sending them over and giving us the opportunity to try them out appreciate you guys if y'all's made it this far in the video and check them out um but i'm officially out so y'all have a great day follow your path peace